Flour Shy BG again with another video. And let me tell you something. Baron is really strong on community edition. Now, how would I build it? I will not go for a normal build. If you don't know what the normal build, like the most efficient build is, it's basically a sword blade, bonsa, and then crit. I will never go with that type of build with Baron on community edition, especially because there's no roamers, there's no rotations, and all that, you know, high tier stuff going on. And you really don't need that extreme burst. I would rather go for a more uh, selfish build. So I'm playing against a Black Feather, and Black Feather is a really good hero against me, so I'm trying to make sure I can poke him and make sure he doesn't use his B on me, he's on point. Otherwise he's gonna get a barrier and then I'm not gonna be able to trade with him. So what's the build I'm going for here? I'm going for my low tier build. This is a build I used to go when I used to play on low tier, like when I used to smurf. And the reason I used to I use this build is because it's just very efficient. It, it covers a lot of uh, a lot of weaknesses that you might have when you don't, you're not playing with a good team on your side, like if you don't have like Rome and all this stuff. So yeah, this is a very good build, and it goes like this. You first go with a Serpent Mask, and the Serpent Mask is for healing. And when you're playing against heroes that are, I mean, an enemy team that is really bad, they will not get more wounds. So you have to take the advantage, the advantage of like sustain. The sustain is really strong if it's overpowered if enemies don't have like anything to get rid of your sustain. And that's something that happens a lot when you're playing with people that don't know how to play the game or don't know how to build. So the Serpent Mask is the first item. Really good item with Baron. It helps you do better early game because you want to get stronger really fast when you're playing with no so Baron because you want to be relevant. Because you're not gonna have a team to help you out in the game. So you gotta be able to sustain yourself, be able to like hold your own ground. Because nobody will help you. Now the second item is the breaking point. Now why would I get a server mask and a breaking point baron? Well the breaking point is just a really useful bear, uh, item for baron. And I'm gonna be able to benefit from the breaking point with the other items I'm gonna get. The reason why I'm getting the breaking point is for this effect exponential damage. Then the, the third item I'm going for is gonna be a tension bow. And the tension bow is gonna help me burst people down. I will not need to get two mana pools to burst people down. So you can start bursting easier and earlier on in the game when you have a tension bow. And the tension bow has synergy with the breaking point because that extra burst that you get from it helps you get some stacks. And then you get stacks, you get more damage, more base damage. And then that base damage applies on your next tension bow. So yeah, you get burst, it helps you get stacks, and then when you have stacks, your burst is stronger. And then last item is gonna be a tornado trigger. Now the tornado trigger is a really bad item and in certain situations. It's not very popular, it's not very efficient, but it still works on certain heroes. And if you I with the build I'm going for, I wanna be extremely fast. I don't wanna be a poke hero, I wanna be a hero that can do constant damage constantly. Yeah. <laughs> I wanna be able to be doing a lot of damage and be able to have stacks all the time to keep be able to keep my stacks and the additional crit and it's the same attack speed helps a lot there so that's the build I'm going for it's a really efficient build really good build if you are like playing against noobs I do not recommend using this build with like high tiers because you really don't need all those you don't need a lot of you don't need sustain with these people your sustain, you need damage, you need burst, you need uh, what's it called? A bonsa because people will people go will go off tank 
and when you're playing with low tiers or noobs, you don't see a lot of uh, off tanks, so you don't need the bones on. So yeah, this is like a really good uh, build, and I really have a lot of fun with it, in my opinion. It's really good when I'm playing Baron, it's really fun. So now with all that explained, then it's time to play, it's time to test it out. So I already have my Serpent Map, it's the most important item when you're playing Baron on low tier because it helps you keep yourself up. Now that if this black fella tries to do any trades with me, I'm just gonna be able to heal myself. I, I like to like use my B and walk towards enemies. I don't like using my B to jump on enemies because that's kind of dumb. I'd rather keep my distance. Oh, because this... Wow, they're really thirsty. Bang, I heal myself a little chunk. That was very sad. I don't have uh, attack speed yet. They're really thirsty for me. Let me heal myself a little bit. I'm just gonna keep training with Black Feather, keep healing. Oh, she made a terrible mistake. I have a flask. I jump. She's dead. That was a really tough game. Really tough team fight right there. Just because Rona has like more wounds with her abilities. So she made the crucial mistake of just throwing. That was literally a throw. So I'm getting fed really extremely fast. And once I get on, what the hell? And Black Feather just died for no reason. So I'm even more fed. Well, thank you. I appreciate that, Black Feather. Now, my next item is the Breaking Point. And the Breaking Point will just make me extremely toxic. I'm gonna be able to, like, just keep, keep, like, blasting people and I will get stacks. And also, the attack speed is very helpful. There's nothing going on. There's not a lot of action. So I might just go mid and see if I can do something. I burst the box. He ults me. I dodge that just by walking. My damage is insane. I'm like blasting this box. Oh, we got an easy kill. So I'm doing work already with just, just a Serpent Mask. I just have a Serpent Mask and I'm doing work already. This, this Arden tried to like trade with me, it doesn't work. I just, I just got, I just heal myself, all the damage he did. Rona comes out of nowhere, I just jump and she cannot approach me so she switches target. I don't have a breaking point, so I don't benefit from long team fights yet. I'm trying to do work here. The <laughs> Ringo messed up. I just keep constantly attacking because every time I use my basic attacks, I get cooled on my B, and wow, we just do work. What, what was that? Why did he move up there? Oh my god, we just. I just, we just completely decimated the enemy team. Nine minutes in with Baron, with just a Serpent Mask. That was dumb. And now we're taking mid already. I don't care about bot that much because it's Black Feather. And I'm doing a lot of work here. So it's better off just to go for mid instead of, and just ignore bot. We got it! Oh my god, and Tony's dead. And everyone is just booting in for no reason. Wow. I got some gold from mid, so I don't mind that my Ringo is um, about taking my gold. I'm just gonna take this, his gold. So I'm extremely fed already. This build you can get fed really easily. Now you don't need a lot of items. You don't need a lot of gold to like do good damage against noobs. And you don't need like 
a bodyguard all game long. Auron is here. He... Oh, I got blasted. I don't have anything on me, and Ringo just ulted. So yeah, that was very unfortunate for me. Like, this Auron has a one punch build. That's gonna be a problem because one punch Auron is like one of the best uh, builds against Baron. But because I'm not playing the normal Baron build, once I get my four items, I'm gonna be able to keep up with with Auron and just wait for it. If I was using the normal build, Sorrow Blade, Bonsa, and then Crit, then yeah, I will not have a chance against One Punch Auron. But because I'm doing the other build. The blast processing build, the assault build, whatever. I still don't have a clear name on how I want to call it. It's just gonna be more helpful against this Auron because I'm just gonna be able to benefit if I attack him. And when you're using the other build, you really don't benefit from attacking uh, whoever is close to you. You usually have to use your B and then make sure you blast the weakest enemy. So here is Black Feather. Black Feather is split pushing. I really don't care if he's split pushing. I mean, yeah, I just got another kill. I actually, uh, I'm doing a lot of work. I mean, it's better to just get kills and then once all the minions are bought, I mean, all the min enemy minions are like together, you can just go in, get a bunch of gold, and then go back into the fight. So yeah, I think this box is AFK. I think he gave up. Yeah, like box is probably one of the worst heroes to play in community edition because it's just no one sticks together, so there's no reason to play him. And just as I predicted, Arden is just gonna punch me, but because I have a serpent mask, I can just heal all the damage he does with his punch. And when he once he punches, he becomes extremely useless. So here I'm trying to blast one by one, I switched to targets, it's working, I have stacks, and now they're running away from me, and bang, I have stacks, I just kill them, I just kill them all, doing damage. Box is AFK, so I'm just gonna use him to heal myself a little bit, Ron is here, I'm just gonna avoid her. This is, this is exactly what I was talking about. You saw that team fight. The first thing that happened was Arden tried to hold me and he punched me because he knows I'm the priority target. But thanks to my build, I'm gonna be able to heal myself because once an Arden punches, he cannot do much. He has to wait for his punch to burst again. And during that small window, where he cannot punch me, I can use him or his teammates to heal myself so he's not gonna be able to do anything and the longer a team fight goes by the more stacks I will have so you saw that, that I was just launching missiles to the closest enemy trying to keep my distance and then I start picking them, picking on them one by one it's, it's, this is a really cool build. Just build on your uh, on enemies, and once you have that damage built in, then you just jump jump into them, and then you kill the priority targets by one. It's insane. It's a really fun build. You're extremely fast. It's not hard to play a Baron this way. I would definitely recommend to play like this if you're not very good with Baron. Right here, I'm picking up a Rona. I'm not doing a lot of damage. I'm starting to pick up. A uh, little of damage slowly because I still don't have my I don't still have my tornado trigger you see that now that I have stacks Aron is taking a lot of damage oh my god look at all the damage thanks Tony for using your taunt bang Blackfield got blasted Insane. I mean, Box is trying to split push, so I'm going 
back. I'm just fully fed. I almost close to my tornado trigger. The tornado trigger will just improve my stacks. I have Servant Mask, so I'm taking zero damage from that box. Zero damage. Zero damage. This build will make you extremely tanky. You're gonna be hard to kill. And that's something very interesting that Baron is like. He's a tanky, he's a really tanky laner. It's really hard to kill Baron. Especially when he has a good team. Because you cannot rely on people who are in communication. This build is like the meta for communication. So you see we're doing work, we're picking up heroes one by one. I'm close to getting my tornado trigger. I see the Arden, I'm just gonna ignore him. Nice, I just take that. I see the Arden, I immediately just jump. I was not ready for a team fight, so. Yeah, I have to get away from that team fight and then go back. Seems like my, my teammates pick up on that fight. What a mistake. They should have waited for me. Box is here. I blast him with the tension bow and the double. The double missiles and stuff with my B. So he immediately died like two seconds. Finally have my tornado trigger. It looks like Arjen just got a <laughs> he just got an atlas for me. That's very toxic. I don't wanna pick on him that much because I really don't know where my teammates are. I want to have teammates close to me to like make sure Arjen has to switch between them. That was really good from the Sylvaner, not gonna lie. I picking up on them. Oh my god, look at the damage! <laughs> look at the damage! I just completely blasted that Ringo. Like, I'm telling you, yes, like, you have to, if you were doing crit Baron, oh my god. Yes, crit Baron can do a lot of damage, but you don't need to do crit Baron. Because people don't buy defense. Oh, we just got an ace. People don't buy defense, so if you have like... Like if you have items for burst, like the ones I have... It, it, it makes the same... It does, it does the same thing as a crit baron. But it's so much cheaper, it's more efficient, and it's easier to... And it's really fun. Really fun. Crit build is only like for a high tier ship or if you're playing soft. So, this is like this is like this video might be like a tutorial, like the easiest way to play Baron, in my opinion. Here we are. I'm just gonna pick on them to get some stacks, and we just blasted the box. I see this guy right here. I blasted, beating stacks. I'm trying to keep my distance. I don't want to get too close because they will, they will definitely pick on me. Just like that, Ringo, he just ulted me. I baited the Black Feather. I'm moving fast. Oh! Uh, let's go. Come on. I have stacks. Dude, that's disgusting, bro. Like, damn. You just pick one target at a time, whoever gets close to you, and then when the next target tries to get close to you, you will have so many stacks that you can just pick them on and they will just get bursted. Like, that Ringo, like, that Ringo have a decent chunk of health, and, but because I already have stacks, I just use my B and he just completely, I just took all his health. And I don't have a lot of base damage. It's all on the attention bow and the breaking point. It's all on uh, that's all all this, this the amazing synergy of those two items. Oh my god, this guy! Hopefully, I have my boots. 
my god. Oh, that's toxic. He's really pissed. Oh, he was gonna Atlas me. Oh, I wasn't able. Oh my god, he flashed him. Oh, I was so close to killing him. He got away. Black Feather is back. He's CP. And let me tell you something. If you're playing Black Feather, always, always get a spell fire. If you don't get a spell fire, you're dumb. Always get a spell fire with CP heroes. Unless you're playing A Star, Faria, or Box. Oh my god, I'm getting picked on it. Whoa! Yo, that was sick! Yo, that silver nail. Oh my god. He saved my life. I, oh, I took that from him. Oh, he's so dead. Oh my god, Tony. Girl! <laughs> Dude, the RN has to be so mad. Like, I've been telling you, bro. Every time I play against the Baron, I go one, one punch Arden because it's just the best thing against Baron. But with this build, one punch Arden can't do shit. <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you always doing that? Oh my god. At least I was able to kill her. <laughs> when I play Tony, I never overdrive my ultimate. I never overdrive my ultimate. I'd rather overdrive my taunt. Because, yeah, you see five people and then you, you hold with Tony and then you, you kind of screw your teammates sometimes. I'm picking up on them, getting some stacks. It's working. I see the Arden, so I, I don't want to mess with them. No, he missed. He's launching everything at me. I'm just going to use my B. Don't you shit. Arden is the one that can take a lot of damage. I'm trying to pick on that guy, but Arden and Blackfeather are just very annoying. Oh my god, why this guy is so annoying? Whoa, who's that? Oh, Ringo's here. Ron is here. Oh no, they're back. <laughs> oh my god, no! Oh my god, this Blackfeather. Dude, just, oh my god, just, just take a moment and analyze that team fight. It took them so long to kill me as Baron. And a Baron is, if you pick on Baron, if you're able to pick on him once, he jumps. And then after you pick on him again, he's dead. They pick on me like four times. And it still was not enough. Now I'm starting to realize that this build is kind of like, um, it's really good against Baron, but Arden can still take a lot of hits, especially with his bird. So because I don't have any type of mortal wounds, and my teammates are not applying any mortal wounds efficiently, Arden is taking a lot of damage from me, and I'm not benefiting that much from, from attacking him, and he's mostly the one who's close to me. So he's becoming a bigger problem. And he's building defense against me. Like, that's so toxic. He has an Atlas, and I'm pretty sure he's gonna get the other item, the plate. That's pretty goddamn toxic. Oh, look. I already have some stacks. That's my kill. My kill, Ringo. Oh, look at gold. Oh look, another easy kill. Tony, what are you doing? If you're playing Tony, can you guys stop ulting for no reason? Like, for real. Like, just ult if you're 100% sure you're gonna make sure that you will know that the enemy will go to the direction you want them to go. Ult where, they, where, where you think they're gonna be, not where they are. 
this box is just a, I don't know if he's AFK. Nah, definitely he's AFK. He has no items. I didn't know bots used to split push. Maybe the developers know that split pushing is overpowered, so they make bots do that. <laughs> to at least be relevant in the game. And this Arden got played. What a loser. What an actual loser. Imagine building against the only person that like, knows how to play. When I pick on him, I see Ringo and uh, he ults me. He ults me. What a loser. These guys are like try harding so hard. They're struggling. Thanks to my teammates. My teammates are being helpful now. Now that I push. The, uh, I push everything. I did a lot of work early game. They got it in easier time. They got an easy time early game. So they now have items and they're very, they're being very helpful. Because early game they were like struggling, but now they're doing decent. And thankfully, uh, that's something that happens. So communication. If you push your teammates, they will help you late game. But don't expect a lot from them early game. Oh, this here, this is right here. I don't know why Tony didn't use his A. I mean, I kind of, I, I messed up. I don't have my B. I'm dead. Oh, I, that was so close. If you're, oh, so if you're playing Tony, oh my god, I'm gonna have to make a Tony video too because Tony's on Community Edition are kind of like ridiculous. If you're playing Tony, why would you try to taunt someone when he's literally next to you? Use your A's to stun him, and then you taunt him. <laughs> I don't know why that Tony did, tried to do that bold like, taunting. It's, it's like, just stun them with your A and then taunt them. 100% guarantee you're gonna stun them. I mean taunt them. Like, come on. <laughs> why would you try to taunt and then stun? That's kinda dumb. You will only want to stun from a distance because the cone is bigger when enemies are farther away from you. Something that I also like to do when I'm playing Tony is I stun people, and then I walk away from the enemy, and then I taunt them. It will make them walk towards me, and it will increase the chances of me taunting that particular person. So yeah, Tony is one of Tony is like one of the best heroes in the game. It's just that people don't know how to play him. Oh look, my team is gonna work without me, so that's cool. That's cool. What a loser! I can't believe that. Oh, okay. Now I understand. I'm dumb. I'm actually kind of dumb. The reason why the arm has a plate and apples is. Because we all are weapon power. <laughs> oh my god. Imagine if we all were not weapon power. I would be doing more damage. <laughs> That's so toxic. Weapon power is like superior to CP sometimes. Like you can you can win with an entire team of weapon power heroes, but you cannot win with CP heroes only. Oh my god, we're doing so much work. Now that we're picking on Arden, he's dead. Bang, 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 bang. Get out of here, kid. You think you can one trick me with one punch Arden? With one of my own strategies? My OG strategies? Like, get the fuck out of here. What was that? Oh yeah, I'm gonna use those stacks that I got from that uh, bot. And now that I got a lot of stacks from box because it's a box with no defense, I'm just gonna start picking these guys. I'm just trying to keep my distance. I don't wanna just go in balls deep. I wanna first see. I want them to struggle, and now nah, it works. Yeah, that's it. That's how you play Baron with this build. Very strong. Even when we all were weapon powered, I was still doing decent damage. And they got plates, and it was decent damage. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.